It's our distinct pleasure to have Sam Caldwell, his associate head coach, Michelle Watts, and three members from the Lady Tigers of New Hope Academy who just completed a historic season as they captured the NACA Division I and II championships as well as the GEICO National Championship, making as they are the consensus number one team in the country. In just the second year, we had Coach Sam and the, and the ladies on before the before the season yeah. and coach I don't think at that time you've in, even envisioned that type of success that you, that you and your ladies have accomplished no sir we were just praying and hoping uh, we knew we were going to be hope, good right? yeah, <laughs> and, yeah new hope and so but we knew we were going to be good but obviously there's no way for you to plan for this we, we didn't know how good we could be uh, but you know hard work dedication and faith and and here we are so it all worked out now, we were talking, the WCAC gets all the love in this, this area, mm -hmm. um, but Riverdale Baptist had always got it on the, on the independent league side. Right. And here you come, leaving Riverdale, starting a new, new endeavor, and you, were, you guys were in the top 20 last year, and, and, and just off of your, quite frankly, off of your reputation. But then through hard work and endeavors, it's just, just, just talk about the journey that you, that you and your ladies went through this season. Well, as I shared with you, I mean, if you went to another TV station, you'll be good there too. <laughs> and so uh, we do know that a building has never done anything. It, mm -hmm. It's the, the absolute people that's in that building that's putting in work. Um, and success is, um, you know, there's models to be followed for that. And so we have, you know, Principal Morrow there and the, and the board at, at New Hope Academy have been uh, I think the foundation of our, our support um, and that support has led to a lot of success. And this is the, the only school I've been at where I've had this level of support. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that was the one thing that I asked her for is just, is just for her support. And so the love and, and uh, absolute commitment and dedication to, to wanting to start a new program, um, they certainly have stood behind us and, um, and allowed us to be successful. Now, while you're the face of the program, of course, you couldn't have done it without your associate head coach and the rest of your staff. And, mm -hmm. and Michelle, I understand that not only did you help Sam win the Division One, but you were the head coach of the division to capture an NACA Division Two national championship. That's correct. Um, I was the uh, head coach of the girls' JV team, and uh, we went into the NACA tournament. Um, you know, of course, we prepared for that all season, and uh, being the first, the only JV team. Uh, for the division, competing for the Division II championship. I mean, that was, it was a huge accomplishment. So the, for the New Hope, a pro program is going to be around for a minute. Oh, yeah, we're here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. <laughs> we're just getting started. <laughs> well, let's meet three of your seniors. Let me start with you. Uh, my name is Dana Joy McFarland. My name is Dana Joy McFarland. My name is Agnes Paul. My name is Jennifer Eze. Now, uh, Dana, talk about um, what it was like playing winning the NACA and then and then playing on national TV winning the GACO national championship before New Hope I used to play for Eleanor Roosevelt and the competition was much different than here so mm -hmm. it was it was a big improvement on my side as well as my teammates side and it was just a great experience all around out of emotions it was just I recommend it and what about each one of you talk about your experiences this season what it was like oh well um, as Coach Sam will always say that nobody will work harder than us and then nobody will have more fun than us. And I believe that was what we had throughout the season. We worked hard and we had a lot of fun. And you? Well, like my team has said, we worked, we've been working hard throughout the season and we're so excited to meet our goals. Mm -hmm. Now, did you guys do this without playing any home games either? Well, we have to say give thanks to Pastor Jenkins and okay, uh, so all the folks over there, there at the Family Life Center. I mean, uh, and, and, and I tell you, today was the first day that I had been back there since we had won the championship. Mm -hmm. And I, I walk in the gym and, and everybody's cheering and clapping when I walked in. <laughs> and uh, I was really embarrassed, you know. I was like, hey, what's going on? She was like, no, Coach, that's for you. <laughs> and I was like, oh, man, okay. I was looking for a round for somebody to clap for, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they absolutely have embraced us and mm -hmm. taken us in uh, as one of their own and, and we thank God for the opportunity uh, to have a place to practice like that. I mean the place is beautiful obviously mm -hmm. and um, but we play our home games there and, uh, okay. and of course we practice there. 
And, of course, Pastor Jenkins knows his way around basketball as well. He used Absolutely. to be the chaplain for the Washington Wizards, and his daughter Sarah played at Riverdale Baptist in George, Maryland yeah. and Georgetown. That's right. Mm -hmm. And she's in the Hall of Fame at Riverdale, too, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. So Sarah's a really good friend of mine, and or ours, I should say. And she's, um, you know, again, you know, the support from, from the Jenkins family and David Leonard and Joseph, Joe Holmes over there, all of them, they've been uh, spectacular for us. Right. And so I know you're too classy to say this, but this mm -hmm. does this is this <clears throat> count as some form of redemption for you moving on and, and taking it, it and just going from scratch. Riverdale Baptist had its own legacy, its own reputation. Yep. And here you took something built it from the ashes and turned it into a national champion in less than two years. Uh, sure. I, well, I won't say redemption. I say Riverdale Baptist had to happen so that New Hope mm -hmm. could happen. And, uh, and I think God has his own plan for all of us. And, uh, and I'm writing a book about this too. Okay. And I'm gonna come back and talk about it. But win right. winners don't know how to quit. See, every, if you look at all of the athletes, they all play too long. Mm -hmm. All coaches coach too long. <laughs> and you gotta force them out. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I knew there was a, a time, you know, with the changes that we had administra administratively, that maybe it was time to go, but mm -hmm. when you're so deeply rooted and committed for these kids and blah, 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 couldn't, I couldn't move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so God sometimes says, hey, man, we got to get you up out of here so you can do this new thing. And that's what we did. And quite frankly, we was just talking about this last night. But if Coach Michelle did not tell me to take the job at New Hope, I, I wouldn't have done it. Mm. I, I was recommended by one of my students. Mm -hmm. And we were thinking about doing some other stuff. And I went over there and fell in love with Mrs. Morrow and all of that stuff. And I was like, but they ain't got no gym. Like, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm telling you, it was rough for mm -hmm. a second. And then the next thing you know, you know, God made provision and found a way for us to do it. And to have the number one team in the country with no gym. Mm -hmm. is unbelievable mm -hmm. right and that's what i was saying so that's truly truly you are yeah. the you, you folks are the foundation no question <laughs> so michelle what was it that, that that you saw in new hope that encouraged coach sam to take this opportunity on well like i like he mentioned earlier you know the the support is it's, it's a tremendous blessing the support that we have at that school and uh you know them believing in his vision uh, to, to create a, a new basketball team, a new basketball program, and not just varsity, but for all levels. I mean, they, they embraced that, you know, uh, 100%. Mm -hmm. And once we got into that school, they embraced us even more. So um, it, it didn't take long for him to, I'm, I'm glad he listens to me sometimes. <laughs> um, but it, it didn't take long for him to make that decision and uh, for us to keep, get the ball rolling. So, ladies, talk about your experience, what it was like playing on national television, and then next, and also tell me about what your plans are to play at the next level. Um, it was fun playing on national television because that was my first time, mm -hmm. and it was fun and exciting. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I decided to continue my basketball career and education in the University of Duke, okay. and I still want to go there and like. Okay. I still have the winning mentality in me, so I want to go and support as much as I can and, you know, take them to the next level. That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. And you? For me, I would say it was a big blessing playing on national television, playing on ESPN. Like, it's been our dream from the beginning of the season. Um, we always had this mentality and the belief that if we worked hard and listened to like our coaches, we could achieve that. And then our coaches, Coach Sam and Coach Michel, they always told us that it would be like the best experience ever. So we should do whatever it takes to like win, so we can do that. And I'll be continuing my basketball career in University of um, Delaware. Okay. And yes, I hope to like meet greater heights. Just the way. Like I did in New Hope. I, I hear in the control room saying that's where Elena Deladon yeah. played. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got a mic. Yeah. And lastly? Well, it was a big blessing, like Adol said, because that's my first time being on national television. It was a lot, a lot of emotions, a lot of family member calling from Jamaica. <laughs> so yeah. it was it was just a big blessing. Like there's no words to explain how blessed we are as a team, as individuals, to be playing with Cosan on national TV and showcasing our talent. And I'll be going to Tennessee Tech University. Okay. The work doesn't stop. We're mm -hmm. still pushing. 
And Sam, right. talk about the legacy that you have. I mean, just just three um, about all the young ladies that have gone on to get uh, to, to play for you and Michelle and gotten scholarships. Uh, it's, I mean, we don't have enough time no on the show, for <laughs> but I, I will say that there's two kids specifically uh, that was with us last year at New Hope Academy, Rochelle Norris, when we won the championship. Mm -hmm. um, uh, her family, you know, believing in us enough to, to have Rochelle over. She's at University of West Virginia, and then Kiara, she's up at uh, University of Wilmington in Delaware. So, I mean, big blessing for them uh, to help us start this program. And so we want to thank them. And then, of course, you know, Chloe Jackson being mm -hmm. drafted, number 15, going to the Chicago Sky. And winning the MVP of the NCAA MVP. National Championship right. yeah, Final I mean, Four. She was That's killing right. it. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, and Chloe was part of our 2014 National Championship team, hit that three-point shot at the buzzer. So she'd been making big shots for a long time. But and she seems like such a humble kid because when she won the MVP, she was looking around like, me? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's very humble, uh, very humble. But I can tell you right now, uh, very confident, mm -hmm. uh, killer instincts. And if anybody was going to take the last shot, it was going to be Chloe. So, uh, and then, you know, Shania Ray, who won Big 12 championship at the University of West Virginia also. Uh, she was MVP at that 2014, uh, you know, championship game as well. So, uh, I mean, it's a whole line. John Quill Jones, mm -hmm. you know, Lauren Cooper or Lauren Chase when she was playing with us at Riverdale. She was also an assistant this year. Mm -hmm. uh, but a long, it's a pretty long mm -hmm. line of uh, some really, really great players. So it's just been a, a huge blessing to, mm -hmm. to have that talent, you know, mm -hmm. come through your doors and uh, be able to Without compete a at a high level. Now, Michelle, what was it like to take a JV team and win the Div Division Two NACA National Championship? Well, being that we were at Riverdale before, we had been to the Division II uh, mm -hmm. NACA championship before. Unfortunately, we didn't win, but um, the, the JV team that we had this year, I mean, they were, they were extremely special. I mean, it was a great group of kids, a great group of student athletes, and, uh, you know, just preparing them for that moment um, was priceless. I mean, when we got to that championship game, um, I mean, they left it all on the floor, and, uh, they didn't look back, and it was just—it was just a great experience, a great opportunity for them to experience that, and it was a great opportunity for myself to to actually experience that as a head coach. So, ladies, um, as we as we wrap up this segment, we're going to keep uh, Coach Michelle and Sam on, but talk about what what your experiences were like playing for New Hope, and what you would tell other young ladies that are considering to come to, to join. What it would be like? I would tell them go for it. Mm -hmm. Because as a post player. I learned half my moves with Coach Simon, Coach Michelle. I wasn't taking jump shots as much as I am now. So they opened my range, showed me that don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. And I've been doing that a lot with Coach Simon, Coach Michelle. So I thank you guys. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I still don't shoot no three. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my advice to the young kids out there is if they want to win, then Coach Simon, Coach Michelle, they're just a perfect set of coaches to have. If you have the winning mentality, come to New Hope Academy. All right, and lastly, I'll I'll say to the my advice to the young kids like they're welcome with that. If you have a great mentality and you're humble, and you're ready to work hard, you're welcome to New Hope Academy. Well, ladies, want to congratulate you for your accomplishment. You made history. Uh, you, you took a leap of faith. You showed hope and new hope, and it paid off. Want to <laughs> congratulate you, and uh, wish you much success as you go into the uh, college basketball.